Hello, everybody. Today we have Mango Spice Cafe. Um, it's been sitting here for like a week, and I keep waiting for Neko Fluttershy to come and help me uh, do the unboxing, but I don't know what he's up to. He's doing something else. Uh, this is box number 50. She's wearing some sort of, like, gas mask or something. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Makes me curious as to what the books are. <clears throat> As we've said in previous unboxings, this box is well worth the money. Um, there's three mangas that come in it, and they usually add up to about $40. Um, the box itself is like $37, and then there's $5.95 shipping, so it comes to roughly $43 with shipping. So, you know, you're getting that in the books. The snacks then are basically free, so that's pretty cool. There's always a, a drink. Let's see. Is this carbonated or not? Melon flavor. Carbonated beverage. Melon cream soda. Felice. So I won't be drinking this because I don't drink anything carbonated. Um, you can thank my gallbladder for that. I've since had it removed, but now I don't like the taste of it, so, you know, it is what it is. This is Umaibo Baked Corn Snack. It says it's corn flavor. Um, let's see. Here's some ramen noodles. Mi Goreng Barbecue Chicken Flavor. Stir-fry noodles which obviously I am not doing on camera because you have to actually cook, and I'm in a bedroom. No cooking in here. Uh, there's some little hard candies. We've gotten these before. I think we'd probably put those in every box. Um, here's a choco pie with marshmallow filling. I think we had something like this before, too. Okay, Lay's Chips. Or for our British viewers, crisps. <laughs> um, these are grilled pork flavor. And they look like they're a wavy style chip. Have the uh, um, chopsticks to go with the ramen. I'm getting a whole drawer full of chopsticks this way. Uh, this is Lantern Roll. Blueberry flavor cake roll. Hmm. I wonder if London is supposed to mean London. Because it's got sort of a half of a Union Jack up there. I don't know. Interesting. Hello Panda. Chocolate cream center with crunchy shell. I've seen these in the stores. And they're really good. Um, our Kroger store sells these. In a bigger package, obviously. But... And then this one is called Lava Bites Strawberry. So I guess there, it's like a little cookie with a strawberry filling. That's what the picture looks like. And then we have our manga. So I'm going to put the um, ramen noodles and the drink back in the box. I have a friend that I work with is going to try the drinks and see if they're any good. We've got several now that um, from various boxes. All right. Okay, we have one called Call of the Night. Number one, it says, Nazuma is a vampire. That's okay with human co. He wants to be one too. But transformation doesn't come that easily. One sleepless night, Ko sleeps out to walk the streets. Life after dark is a revelation. When flirtatious Nazuma, Nazuna, 
an N, not an M. <laughs> Invites Ko to spend the night at her place in an abandoned building. He's stoked. But then he awakens to kisses on his neck with a little too much bite to them. Is it just the delicious taste of his blood that makes her meet him night after night for late night adventures, conversation, and naps? Or something else? Then, when a cute girl from Ko's past shows up and competes for his attention, his budding relationship with the undead is put to the test. Well, that sounds pretty good. I like vampire stories, so, yeah. There's a manga, uh, anime, and it was set at, like, a high school or a boarding school, I guess. And there was a group of vampires in it. And I, the life of me, cannot remember. Oh, there's my little sticker. Gotta save those. Um, I can't remember the name of the anime now. Um, a School Frozen in Time. Oh, this one was worth $9.99 in the U.S. This one is $12.95. Um, on a snowy school day like any other, classmates and childhood friends, Hiroshi and Mizuki, arrive at school to find the campus eerily empty. Before long, they find themselves trapped inside with six other friends, and even stranger, all the clocks have stopped at a very specific moment, the exact time when a former classmate jumped off the school roof to their death three months earlier. It turns out that this departed friend is their way out of their current predicament. It may even be among their group, but no one can remember who it was that took their life that sad day. The students must face themselves and their past memories to piece together the identity of the suicide victim or risk a similar fate, with their lives lost and forgotten inside these frigid school walls. Well, that sounds interesting. Kind of a, guess you'd say a ghost story? And we have Zom 100, Volume 1. Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. So I guess we we got zombies? <coughs> It says, an exciting zombie tale unlike any you've seen before. After spending years toiling away for a soul-crushing company, Akira's life has lost its luster. But when a zombie apocalypse ravages his town, it gives him the push he needs to live for himself. Now Akira is on a mission to complete all 100 items on his bucket list before he, well, kicks the bucket. In a trash-filled apartment, 24-year-old Akira Tendo watches... A zombie movie with lifeless, envious eyes. After spending three hard years at an exploitative corporation in Japan, his spirit is broken. He can't even muster the courage to confess his feelings to his beautiful co-worker, Otori. Uh, then one morning, he stumbles upon his landlord eating lunch, which happens to be another tenant. The whole city is swarming with zombies, and even though he's running from impending doom, Akira has never felt more alive. And this one was twelve ninety nine, so that's what twenty four thirty four dollars worth of manga. So not bad, not bad. Well, no, I guess it's actually closer to thirty six. So I mean, basically the price of the box before shipping, and then you got all these snacks. And I guess it's time to try the snacks. And I'm really curious about these chips, grilled pork flavor. Let's see if they're any good. Let's see if I can get them open. <laughs> oh, there we go. I can't really tell what they smell like. This one, I mean, they're just like a wavy chip. I'm not sure. I don't know that it's necessarily grilled pork that it tastes like. I do like that they put these stickers with English 
for the uh, nutritional stuff. Because otherwise it's all in Japanese and I'm like, I don't know what that says. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. I don't know. Hmm. They're not bad. They're a little different. But I'm not entirely sure that that's grilled pork to me. There's some kind of spice in there because it's now coming up on the back end a little bit of something. Okay, this is the Umaibo baked corn snack in corn flavor. It's like having dinner, pork and corn. These are like a crunchy corn stick. Um, texture is somewhere to that of like a Cheeto or something. So here's what they look like. Okay, I can kind of pick up a little bit of sweet corn flavor. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm getting corn flavor from that. Yes. This must be a second series featuring the character. Okay, so I read the first two volumes of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, and it looks like next month we're getting After School Hanako Kun. So, yay! It reminds me a little bit, <coughs> I'm not sure why, <coughs> but it reminds me a little bit of Sailor Moon. It's got a similar vibe to it. Okay. Lay's Wavy Grilled Pork Chips. These potato chips are a hot twist on your regular potato chip. With extra large ridges or waves, the seasonings on this chip combine to create a real savory grilled flavor close to actual barbecued pork. Okay, the soda. Sweet, tangy melon meets creamy milk and uh, this effervescent canned soda. This unique, fruity, fizzy, soft drink mimics the experience of an old-time ice cream float. Serve it chilled or over ice for the best flavor. Hmm. We'll have to let my friend know that it's best cold. Um, Kanro Hard Candies. In Japan, the company Kanro is synonymous with candy. Kanro has a long history of making hit fruity and milky delights. The flavors in your bag are lemon, green apple, grape, and strawberry. There's, I don't know, five or six in there. Maybe it's like two of each flavor or something. Asian Baked Delights. Let's try some baked goods from Asia. Luntin roll, blueberry Swiss roll from Malaysia. It's a spongy cake rolled with sugar cream. Orion chocolate pie from Korea. Lava bites from China. A buttery cookie filled with strawberry cream. And winter edition of chocolate Hello Panda from Japan. And savory corn pottage flavored Umaibo from Japan. The corn thing was pretty good. I, I like it. The barbecue grilled pork chips. I'm not a big fan of barbecue flavor on chips, but those are really pretty good. So, yeah, that those are the snacks.
Well, I like that it gives you a little bit more in here about them. Um, let's see. There's an interview with one of the artists. And tells you about the different manga. Well, duh, if I put, should put it in front of the. Tells you about the different manga artists and writers and what have you. I'm going to butcher the crap out of this, but I'm going to attempt it. Okay, I've written the Saimase Goshu Jinsama. Welcome home, Master. Hi there, I made Kemuko chan. Just recently, the cafe was overrun by zombies and vampires. Scary, right? Turns out they were just here to help us pick up some awesome new manga and snacks and pack boxes. We hope you enjoy what's in this month's box, though you might want to be careful. It's a bit of a biohazard. <laughs> that explains the um, gas masks. Oh, School Frozen in Time. What did I do with them? There they are. School Frozen in Time, it says um, Volume 2. Will be released June 1st. Um, what's that one? Call of the Night. Volume 2 will be released June 8th. So I guess this is. Volume 2 will be released May 18th. So this one's about to get a second book. <laughs> if I could hold it correctly. Um, this one's about to get a second book here in a couple days. Because uh, today's the, what day is this? Today's the 15th, so in about three days, this one should get a second volume. Hope it's good. Maybe I'll continue collecting it. So that's pretty exciting. They all have new ones coming out here in the next couple weeks. Um, so if they're good, that might be something to add to the wish list, huh? Would y'all want me to put my Amazon wish list link? I know a lot of booktubers do it. I just never bothered because, well, one, I don't have that many viewers, so I didn't think it would do any good. And two, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it to get free stuff. Free stuff is nice, but, you know, it's not necessary. Let's try this Lunton Roll thing. Blueberry sounds good, and it was the next thing listed. Okay. a little bit dry. <laughs> a little crumbly. I don't taste blueberry. It's like a very dry sponge cake with a white cream in it. And I don't taste the blueberry that it says it has. But it did coat my whole mouth with the cake, so um, the choco pie. I think we've had this before. This reminds me of, like the little moon pies that we get here. Only a little bit smaller, I think. You may have noticed that Japanese chocolate's a little different. American chocolate tends to be sweeter than a lot of other countries' chocolates. 
and I've seen videos where like um, people from England try American chocolate and they're like, oh, it's so sweet. And they don't like it because it's not what they're used to. So we'll see. I know the texture and things are slightly different. It's as expected. It's like cookies, like vanilla cookies with marshmallow in the middle and then covered in chocolate. Very much like a moon pie. <laughs> okay, and the Lava Bite is strawberry flavor. Let's see if I can get into it. That's the hardest part on this, is getting into the packaging. <laughs> okay, it's just a little cookie. I don't know if you can see it, because my lighting sucks, but it's got a little bit of pink cream in the middle. The cream is very overpowered by the actual cookie part. Um, there's a very, very slight hint of the flavor. But the cookie part reminds me of, um, I thought it kind of looked a little bit like a vanilla wafer. Or vanilla wafer. But it tastes more like the cookie part of a, like, um, Chips Ahoy or something like that. Minus the chocolate chips. But the flavor of the cookie overpowers the little bit of cream that's in the middle. So I don't know that, you know, it's really all that strawberry-ish. But it's all right. It's not a bad cookie. I'm trying to save little bites of everything for Neko when he decides to get up. Of course, it is 8.30 in the morning that I'm doing this. And Okay, so these are the little panda cookies, and they have I don't know. It's supposed to be a picture of a panda on it. Um, yeah, this one looks like a smushed Pikachu or something. And then you bite in, and it's full of chocolate. These are fun. They're nice little bite-sized snacks. And like I said, we can find them in our grocery here. Well, I have to drive into Athens to do that. But it's about 45 minutes from here. But we can get these at least. Is the rest of that broken one in here? I think this is a panda playing hockey. I can't tell what that one's doing because it's all smeared. I think this is a hockey one again. Anyway, the snacks were pretty good. <clears throat> a couple of them, I wish the flavor that they were marked, like the strawberry or the blueberry, would have come out a little bit more. But that's okay. I mean, it's an experience to try them, right? That's all I really have left are the little hard candies. And, I mean, you know, hard candies are hard candies. There's really... Nothing too exciting to watch as far as trying these, but let's see here. There's a grape one. I'll save that for him. 
We got two apple. We got a strawberry and two lemon. So I guess I'll take the strawberry and let him have the grape. Because I'm not a big fan of grape. <clears throat> so we'll we each get a lemon and a an apple. I do love lemon, so let's see what the lemon one's like. If I can get in it. Okay, it's just a little yellow oval. Translucent. Hmm. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Very lemony. Very, very lemony. Most successful flavor. <laughs> um, that's really all I have. We've they just took my payment for next month's box, so we'll be getting it again. And uh, probably around the first part of June, because this came the first week of May. Um, don't really have a whole lot else to talk about. Um, I just had a birthday last week on the 10th. Got it, picked up a few things on my own. I bought myself a little... Um, it's not much bigger than this, actually. A little um, thing that you can plug in and make little mini lava cakes and bunt cakes. I haven't tried it out yet. I need to go to the store and get the stuff to make whatever. But the problem is, with only two of us, it's going to make a whole bunch of these little things out of one recipe. And I haven't gone and looked into cutting them down to like half the amount or anything yet. So I haven't tried it yet. But I'm looking forward to it because I like snacks, obviously. And I bought myself a denim jacket when we were working at one of the Walmarts last week. Um, found a jacket at one of them. And then when I went, as we, when we were walking back through the store, back to where we were set up for all our stuff. Um, and when I came back out, I couldn't find them. I must have been in the wrong part of the department or something. But the next day, the uh, store that we went to had the same jackets, and they were on clearance. I'm like, well, that's even better. I'd rather pay 11 bucks than 20 So I picked up a, a denim jacket. That It was kind of chilly. I needed something anyway. So, you yeah, know, just lucked out that it's something I wanted. And then... um. Oh, I can show you one th something. Monday, unfortunately, they arrived right after we left to go to work. I had placed an order on Amazon. I was supposed to arrive Monday on my birthday. I got two Terry Pratchett books. Why these two in particular? Because uh, Nothing But Reading Challenges group, the NBRC, at Goodreads is doing tower teams, and um, those are two of the book of the month choices that we have coming up, and my library didn't cover, carry those two, so I went ahead and picked them up. The other one that is a book of the month is Mort. So... I was able to get that through the library. Unfortunately, I can't get those in audiobooks. Which is driving me crazy because the print in these books is teeny tiny and my eyes aren't so good. <laughs> it's going to take forever to read these little little tiny books. It's going to take me forever. Um, there are audio versions out there on cassette. But to buy, like, for equal rights... This little skinny book was $64.95 for it on audio. Audible doesn't have it. So far, I've only been able to find it on Amazon in cassette form. I don't really have a way to play cassettes anymore. So, yeah, that's not very useful. How many pages is this? 264 pages. 
I think this is one of the Witches series. Yeah, Brand New Weatherwax is in it. Now, the audiobook for this one was $79.95. 80 bucks for cassettes? Really? And they've obviously converted other um, audiobooks to a digital format. Because I listened last night, or, yeah, to Wintersmith, which is the third of the Tiffany Aching subseries of the Discworld novels. And where the discs or the cassette or whatever would end, there was music in between. So we'd get to where it would be the end of a disc or so, whatever, and you get music, and then the next one would start. Why can't they do that with the three books that I need to read? This is 403 pages, and it's it's small print and hardly any margins. I mean, look how close that margin is. Not even big enough for me a fingertip. So yeah, kind of kind of worried about reading these because, like I said, my eyes aren't so good. Why am I gonna have time to sit and read those? I guess if I'd stop making videos. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. Um. I made a video of the uh, book haul from the library book sale. I don't remember if I posted it yet. I need to do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my birthday haul, too. So, yeah, I, I didn't spend a whole lot on myself this year. <laughs> but I did spend more than I did last year, which was nothing. So, anyway. This time last year, I was more concerned about things like my dad dying. Um, today's the 15th, tomorrow would be the anniversary of his death, so, yeah, it's a, a tough weekend, <laughs> um, tomorrow's gonna be a hard day, it's been on my mind a lot these last couple of days, so anyway, um, that's about really all I've got, uh, gonna do fun and exciting stuff today, like laundry, woohoo! Maybe I'll go out and get Chinese food or something. We did go get Mexican last weekend, which I was really looking forward to. We didn't get to go for Cinco de Mayo because we were working. So we went last weekend. Um, I got my Mexican and a margarita, so I was happy. We might grab some Chinese today or something. I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> anyway. Um... Yeah, that's it. We're middle of May already. Can you believe it? We're supposed to fly by. So I'm just rattling and babbling. So I will uh, let y'all go. Remember to do all the fun YouTube -y things like comment, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. And I guess you can see me in the next one, whenever that may be. Bye bye.